I'm Kimberly Moss. Welcome to the 8 o'clock hour of Good Day Oregon. Let's get to Andy Carson, who's at Willamette Egg Farms this morning. Hi, Andy. Hello, guys. Yes, we are outside, and it is, it's cloudy, it's, it's humid, there's, there's hints of fog here and there, but it's all going to clear out a little bit later on, or at least to a certain extent, the fog will be out of here. We'll watch the clouds part, and we will see those temperatures work up to a high of around... Carson joins us now once again with a forecast on our very yep. humid morning. Oh, it is. I'm with uh, Jeffrey right here, and uh, he is going to show us how to make the perfect scrambled eggs because they can end up in all different varieties oh, yeah. and, and textures and formats. So we're going to find that out. And yes, Kim, you mentioned how humid it is. Look at my paper. It, this is, <laughs> this, it's wow. not raining out here. It's just, wow. uh, it's, it's quite humid here this morning yeah. and uh, everywhere. Uh, let's go right now to those temperatures that we have around the northwest this morning. Right, here we are, Willamette Egg Farms, and, uh, and we've got my buddy Jeffrey all the way yes. from San Francisco. And how do you make the perfect scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs are probably the most simple, healthful, and yet decadent breakfast you can have in two minutes. The key is non-stick pan, uh -huh. moderate heat. Eggs like moderate heat. That's what keeps them tender and soft. A couple tablespoons of water to a couple of eggs is the perfect ratio. The can you do milk instead of... Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Milk just makes it tastier. The key is the moisture. And here's the thing. The second they start setting, you just want to paint the bottom of the pan. And I love using one of these because it conforms to the edge of the pan right. so you never get any of those dried bits that make it kind of crispy. Yep. This gives you light, fluffy folds of eggs and that's the idea. Moderate heat, non-stick pan, a touch of butter or even olive oil and then just fold them. And yeah. then you want to know the final secret? What is that? The final secret is when they have just a little bit of shine left, you turn off the heat because the residual heat will Ooh. keep cooking the eggs. Cooking inside. Yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's like a steak. It's like you shut it off and you let it rest oh, for a minute. Oh, you are good. That is exactly Boom. it. It is the there steak theory. Steak and eggs, we could do them all at the same time here. That would yeah. be a great uh, combination. So those do look delicious. And uh, yeah, my son, picky, picky as he is, doesn't like anything to be crunchy in there. And right, so yeah, that's you don't want nice crunchy. You want tender, fluffy, light folds. Uh. And then of course, of course, you can stir in. Now we're going to stir the heat off. The residual heat will make them perfect. Okay. And you can fold in anything you want. I love it. Perfect. Tony Martinez, I'm learning so much today. Uh, yeah, I am yeah. too. And yeah, so versatile. So love uh, great stuff out there. Do you want to get you caught up on the sun? Let's get back to Andy Carson now. He is at Willamette Egg Farms. And Andy, yep. we should point out you and your photographer, Mike Heinrich, just love you both, posted a fabulous picture on Good Day Oregon's Facebook page that people should check out. Very funny. Okay. How do you do that? I don't know how you do that. So uh, anyway, yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is this is the other thing we're going to learn. Uh, my, my buddy right here has been with us uh, throughout the good port portion of the morning. He's Jeffrey, and he is about to have a, a brand new show on not the cook the cooking it's the cooking channel, Food Network's new cooking channel. Right. Okay. I'm just confused. There's yeah, yeah, there's a lot. How do you do flip the perfect egg? Yeah, flip, flip the egg. The perfect egg. First of all, you get a little bit of butter or olive oil, whatever you're in the mood for in the pan, because you need uh, you need a slick surface. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and the nonstick pan makes a big difference, right? Right. Then you crack an egg. The thing I love about eggs, like 13 cents each on average, mm -hmm. you can afford to make lots of mistakes. Oh, sure. Just keep putting them aside and try again until you get it. Mm -hmm. So once the butter's melted, you want to crack the egg right onto the butter. Okay, just one hand. One hand. Like oh, see, that's oh, all right. See, we messed up. 13 so, cents. Well, no he gets deal. another one ready. Let me take care of the weather, and then we'll see it. You can get it all perfect there. That's absolutely. See, he, and we're he, right back. He's, that's why he's on TV, because he made an excuse before he made the mistake. Uh, let's yeah. go right now to a little bit of weather information. Right. We'll do this. Take, take two. We're 26 cents in. Mm -hmm. All right, so you put that right in there. Right. All right, a pinch of salt is always nice. Bring out the flavor. You want to put egg. the salt on right now? Yes, yeah, right I do it at the, the end. end. Oh. What I like about putting salt when you're cooking anything is it kind of sinks in then and brings the flavors together. Oh. Instead of just tasting salt on the top, you're actually incorporating in as part of the, the flavor. There it is. All right, we're only going to use a spatula. Actually, we might not even need it to make sure it's not sticking. It's good uh -huh. just to see yeah. that that's sliding, all right? Right. Okay, we just, right. we're just about out of, and, and, and I hate right. to rush you, you because you want to be just We right. just got to do it. That's Boom. it. Do the flip. Did, did you see it? That <laughs> just happened. I think you missed it. You have I slow motion he, on there? He was looking yeah. somewhere else. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, oh, we, we can oh, flip wait. it back, ready? Because we want the pretty side up to serve it anyway. Ooh, there we go. All right. Let's go to Mr. Tony Martinez for some traffic. Just like All that. right. Yeah, you got to commit to the flip. I think that's the secret. That's the key. You guys go for it. Well, let's get you caught up here on the sunset heading outbound. Still working this wreck. It's out by Helvetia Road. Show you this. I'm Pete Ferryman. Andy Carson is, uh, he's all about eggs this morning. Yes. Yeah. Remember Howard who does the uh, record fast yes. uh, omelet? We're going to see how many omelets he can make in like one weather segment uh, coming up here in just a little bit. All right. So that should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there'll be enough. I just hope there are enough eggs here at the uh, Willamette Egg Farms. They only make a couple million a day. Uh, let's go right now to the forecast for the day. Yes, too. But that's a yes. different story. No, no. <laughs> he I'm, just doesn't wear a skirt. No, no, yeah. no. Andy, I'm kidding. How, how you doing, buddy? On your mark, get set, go! 
go! Oh, so right he's going to yes. try to make as many omelets as he can. Yes, he's going to do that now. Yeah, he's going to do that. But you do that. Do you have to say it out loud? He talks himself through it. All right. And then when you've got the your egg in the pan, uh -huh. move the cooked egg to the center, tilt the pan so that the raw egg finds some pan surface to cook on. Let me ask you a question. Like, sure. What's the world record of you and how many omelets you made in a certain period of time? I made 427 omelets in 30 minutes to get in the record book. All right. Book. We're going to see how many you can make right here while I take care of the weather, which is typically just a couple of minutes long. So okay. he's going to cruise on that. It's, oh, it's, I better hurry up. Yeah. That is a look at your weather. And Tony, here's the deal. One of the uh, burners. One of the, we ran out of gas know. in one of the burners. And he's still got three of these done. So mom's at home. You're thinking to yourself, oh, let's just throw an Eggo in for the kids, you know, a little yeah. Pop-Tart pop or something. This is even faster. It is. You should be able to make an omelet in under a minute. Yeah, yeah. Well, and if the uh, eggs are giving I'm, him the I'm energy, to do it like uh, eggs I'm all about it. So I have to do it's it got quicker it. than it's got it. pouring a bowl of cereal. Uh -huh. I know, I know. Tony, he, he how's can't the stop. It, it's made him very, stop him. No. It's made him very fast <laughs> on the grill, but, but uh, hard of hearing. Yeah. <laughs> no. Great guests all morning long. Good stuff out there. Still have a problem here. Sunset Highway coming out down the right lane's block. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Andy Carson. Your, 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 your subject matter is, is, is uh, well, not, not the subject matter, you know but you're more appealing to look at and right I now. have to tell you, Andy, so educational yes. this morning. It's been great. We've yeah. learned so it much. Is. It is. And you've, you've met Howard, and yes. you know Howard is, he's speedy. He's fast. Yes. But more than that, you're going to not do a speed omelet, or is this going to be fast, too? Well, all of my omelets are fast, Andy, but... <laughs> he doesn't I, have a low speed. It's all high speed. <laughs> what are you going to do on this one? I'm going to do a twist. You know, America's most popular omelet is a Denver Western omelet. So what I'm going to do is make it a Denver Western omelet, kind of with a French twist on it, because I'm going to fill the omelet with cheese. Okay. Here right. I go. Here so, he goes. A little butter bit of butter. In the pan. Just a little, just a little tap of butter right there. How yeah. about a lot of butter? Okay, yeah, I like that. That makes it French, right? <laughs> um, yes, or I learned it it also makes it southern. Okay. Two eggs <laughs> yes, and two tablespoons of water. Uh-huh. Into the hot pan. Right. And the while pan. you take care of that, I need to do a little weather. So you All keep right. working on the Denver almond, and we'll take a look at this here okay. in just a minute. The temperatures that we have around. Andy, see what I did? I put all of the vegetables in first, then they got embedded into mm -hmm. the egg. Inside the pocket here, the cheese is melting. So this is just like a French spin on a classical Denver Western omelet. I like it. I wish to goodness you would. You'd be with me every day because I, I, I could eat these all day long. So that's great stuff. Let's go to Tony now for an update on the traffic. Tony? It was so cool. I was watching. He actually tipped the pan so it could kind of cook the, the ingredients a little bit in the pan. So they kind yeah. of got a little goodness there and then flipped it over. Very yeah, tricky. Too bad we couldn't have like a, a, a split screen right there, you know? That would have been yeah, cool. Well, that's my play-by-play -play of the omelet making. Uh, out to 84. Back to Andy Carson at Willamette Egg Farms. Andy? Yep. Once again, demonstrating how humid it is. The paper just uh, really uh, floppy out here. We are looking at the humidity, at least for the first part of the day, in the clouds. They'll start to burn off. We'll get some sunshine temperatures going.